Good morning, Cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here in Zephyrtown. I hope your day is going wonderfully. So today, we're going to have a bit of a longer episode, maybe, because I want to show off the 75% bizarre today. Now, usually with the way these episodes have been structured as of late, also I want to remember to get those eggs, as I keep forgetting, usually with these, the way these videos have been structured as of late, I would be showing off the 75% bizarre next episode. But... Even if this episode has to go a little bit longer than usual, I think that's okay, right? You guys are okay with that? Additionally, this episode, something else we want to do is uh, get ready for Stuart's birthday because that is on Sunday. And so we want to get something wrapped, the bazaar, and I was thinking of making him a Mont Blanc. We do have the recipe for that, and uh, it shouldn't be too difficult to get the ingredients we need for that. All we need is some butter, some milk, some eggs, some flour, and, uh, um... Hmm, what else? Oh, and of course the bottled chestnuts, right? And not forget those. That's kind of the entire point of a Mont Blanc. And, um, well... Uh, according to Daisy, that's his favorite treat, so why not? And here's a chestnut right here. Hey, Ray, what are you up to? Taking a break from work? Oh, Ray, hello. Hello there, Ray. Feel free to ask me any questions. Still just mixed salad, but raisin bread, don't have that. Nice. All right. sip of tea with our raisin bread. Mmm. Nice. I do love me some raisin cinnamon bread. It's very, very tasty. Hey, Ray, you like bird. This place is awesome. So much room to play. Hey there, what are you doing? Ray, shouldn't you feel like working? And shouldn't Kevin be, you know, affected by gravity? Cool, it's time to play. Um, hello. Ray, would you like to play too? What is it? Can it wait? I'm busy. Haha, <laughs> this is great. Good morning. Let's make today a great one. Alright, and I think the way to do that would be to start off with a butterfly. How about that? Ooh. And already our spinach is done. I want to stop by the grinding windmill and take care of that so that we can get to replanting it. Yams and eggplants. What's this look like? Two star and two star. Mm, hopefully we can get to at least, I don't know, three and a half, maybe four star before the end of the season for both of these. That would be nice, but we'll have to see. Now we could make some rosé wine. Oh, actually, wait, we can make champagne, can't we? Out of rosé wine. Oh gosh, I forgot about that. I thought we would make champagne out of white wine. So I guess we're going with rosé wine. And that's going to take a while, and then the champagne is going to take even longer. So for two batches of rosé wine, with us having already blown into the microphone, it's going to take 128 hours, which is a little over five days. That's for two. If you got this far in the video, don't forget to like, to subscribe if you aren't already subscribed, and to let me know down below what video length you prefer. Do you prefer shorter videos, 10 to 15 minutes, or do you prefer ones that are pushing a half hour? 
All that stuff really does help me out, and it does help my videos show up in your inbox more consistently, so don't forget to do that. Let's, uh, let's get that Mont Blanc made, shall we? Oh, but first we need to make the cake. So let's see. I mean, obviously those are going to be the high-quality ones, but let's make sure it's also using the other... The high quality ones for the other ones. Yep, for the other ingredients. Ick. Your first time recipe recorded. Cool. Your cooking weight rank went up to chef. Okay, five star cake. Fortunately, uh, we only have two star walnuts, but let's hope that that's good enough. Five star Mont Blanc. Nope. Unfortunately, that brings it down to four star. Well, oh well. It's really the best we can do, isn't it? For now. I mean, it does. Again, you know, it technically doesn't make a difference in terms of friendship. We'll get the same amount even if it was a half star Mont Blanc. Hello, how are you doing? You seem really happy these days, right? Marriage must be nice. I want to get married someday. Aww. Honestly, I was gonna rate him pretty darn low in my husbando review. Hey, yeah. Yo. But I, I think that, that bumped him up a point. He's still gonna get a low rating. It's just not gonna be as low. Hey there, working hard, right? Is marriage fun? Boy, I bet it is. Now you can buy twice as many things! I don't think that's how that works. Mmm... How about some... Mmm... Egg custard. I love egg custard! Oh my gosh! Hey. Custard is just fantastic. It is my favorite... My absolute favorite thing to eat. Just like... An egg custard with some berries on top. Oh, that is perfect for breakfast, let me tell you. You know what? It's a nice day. Let's go ahead and eat our delicious, delicious egg custard outside. And yes, this is a savory egg custard, which is also fantastic. Mmm. Oh. Love it. So the reason why I wanted to get the uh, apple tree started ASAP is that we're going to have a little bit of a space issue. I mean, depending on when Diego stocks the stuff that he sells, we're going to have a bit of a... Um, red hair, do you, do you mind? I'm kind of a little busy right now. I know you love me, and I'm glad that you love me, but I got stuff I gotta do. Anyway, we're gonna have some space issues with uh, um, with the trees, and so I think we're gonna have to kind of figure something out with that. I don't know. I don't even know if making the apple seeds at the start is, of the season is going to help any with that at all. All right, so before the bazaar starts real quick, this is where the super lucky lotto is. I run the super lotto stand. Give me coins for a ticket and you might win a great prize. Or not. Most of the prizes there are actually pretty great. It's just the scrap metal that's not great. Nelly has set up her food stand right next to Claire's, which is, or right next to Jones, which is a power move. And then this right here, uh, Diego's Delight. Being a merchant is tough business. Yeah, so this is Diego's Delights. Uh, I guess we'll talk more about that when we actually visit. So those are that's all the stands filled now. And the only difference, the only thing that changes when the bazaar hits 100% is that the Lucky Lotto, not the Super Lucky Lotto, but the Lucky Lotto has better prizes. It's time to begin! Is everyone ready? We've got a lot of eager customers today! Don't let them leave disappointed! The goal for today's bazaar is to earn 150,000 to 200,000 G! Good luck! The bazaar is now open! Alright. 
Let's do this. Red wine. Tea. Yarn. I don't think those two, the, the green haired girl and the blue capped boy, I don't think we've seen them at previous bazaars. Oh, sorry to bother you. Do you know where the carpenter is located? On the right side. It, 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 you just look to your right, man. It's okay. You don't, you don't need to do everything the doctor tells you to. Sometimes it's okay to look to your right. Hey there, we're the famous comedy duo Lucy and Ricky. What a wonderful day for a bazaar! So you play two parts? <laughs> You're bothering me, Ricky? Where's Lucy? What? Lucy's not here? Where did she go? I bet she went shopping again! Come back here, Lucy! You got some slinging to do! I can't do that. Like, I can only do the you got some... I, I can't even do that properly, actually. Never mind. Hey, this milk is nice. Can I have it? For free? Sorry. No. Please pay for it. Uh... What? Wait. Hey, this is a gift for Lucy. You gotta give me a deal here. I... I don't know which one of those... The last time was so long ago. I thought that was the one, you know, where the response is, Hey, this is, this is for Lucy, you gotta give me a deal here. I can... Because there is one where if you say, please pay for it, it's like, he says, haha, I'll pay you later, and your reputation goes down. Oh my goodness. Oh, you look li just like my grandchild. Could we talk for a bit? Sure. Really? Well then. And it, it does, no time passes whatsoever. You don't, you don't lose anything. All, you gain... Yeah, he buys all of that stuff for you, and that, oh, that was a nice chat. To show my things, I'll buy all of your yellow pepper. We probably won't win on reputation for this one, though, just because of that gift for Lucy, dude. And we definitely aren't going to win on sales. Chestnuts, shimmyji mushrooms, eggplant. Spinach, eggs, mint. This is gonna be another one where I'm left with all my eggs, isn't it? Yep, sure looks like it. I mean, to be fair, I have ten chickens, and they produce- they each produce an egg every single day, so that's gonna be a lot of eggs that I gotta sell. But it kinda makes me worried about what's gonna happen once they all start producing five-star eggs, and I can't really split them up. I guess that would be incentive for us to do some cooking and whatnot with them. Eggs! Lots and lots of eggs! Oh, maybe not as many as I thought. Sold all the items you had on display. What do you want to do now? Take a break. So far, you've earned 66,780G. That's Still have a ways to go to meet the coal. Yeah, that's an understatement. Uh, so, unfortunately, nothing new from... Ken and nothing new from Raul. Hmm. So, let's play the Super Lucky Lotto. We've got enough for 18 tickets. Okay. Yeah, the grand prize is a rare item you can't get anywhere else. That is a magic water. And it increases your stamina. You can only win it five times. And, uh, yeah. Third place prize! That's emerald. Okay. It's the gem you get for each of these prizes is very specific. So first place will always be a pink diamond 
Second will always be diamond. Third will always be emerald. Sixth place will always be junk ore. Fourth is f not fluorite, is it? I think this is an agate. Yeah. Agate. Agate. I don't know how to pronounce it. Let's see if we can't get the magic water, because fifth prize, that would be fluorite, which uh, ain't a bad prize. I think we're going to be selling all of the agates that we get and all of the diamonds. No, this is scrap <laughs> scrap metal. Yeah, sixth place prize is scrap metal, and that's really the only way to lose. And I guess we'll also be selling all of those. I think what we have one more after. <laughs> Come on. One more for with the gold coins after this, I think. That's some bad luck right there. Huh? Fourth place prize? Okay. The agates are gonna be getting us some immediate results, but uh, I sure wouldn't mind some pink diamonds. I'll tell you that. Or some magic water for that matter. Third place prize? That's another emerald. Emeralds we can turn into bracelets, pink diamonds, and, uh, um... Fluorite we can turn into brooches. Brooches use one silver and one mithril, and, uh, um... Bracelets use one silver and one gold. I don't remember how... We've done four of the of the silver coin lottos right fifth prize I mean that's not bad we can still turn it into a into a brooch in fact I generally would prefer that to an agate I think because I think we get a bigger profit from the fluorite oh my gosh please I think we... I think we've got one more with the silver coins, right? And then five bronze. Oh, no. Luck is ever changing like the seasons. Come back whenever you're feeling lucky. So we've got five for these. Five shots with this. <laughs> we keep getting scrap metal! <laughs> Please, let me show off the magic water. Two, oh my gosh. Today is just not our day, is it? The fifth place prize, well, that's okay. Better than scrap metal. And probably better than the fourth place fries, actually. I have never gotten this unlucky with my first run through of the super lucky lotto. Fifth place prize. Well, okay. I believe that's it, right? Yeah, we just have four bronze coins left, which is not enough. Nine scrap metal. <sighs> and no silver. I'm not going to be buying gold from, uh, um, from Lloyd for this. I'm going to go ahead and put in that basement greenhouse, which... Is it Wilbur? Nice to see you. Welcome to Wilbur's workshop. Increase number of fields. Adding fields means you can grow more crops. Only at 100,000 G. Is 100,000 G okay? I'll have everything done by tomorrow. Ah, ha, 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 ha. And so that gives you the basement greenhouse, and you can grow things in 
all seasons there, uh, if you have the proper sun. And I will explain that at another time, I guess. Uh, pineapple pie? That's royal milk tea, isn't it? Thank you. I'll teach you the recipe as well. Royal milk tea is incredibly expensive. 22,400. You know what? We're just, we're we're just going to go ahead and not do that. We're going to make we're going to make good financial decisions because, you know, we're married now and we kind of have to do that. Fruit sandwich. Sandwich filled with fruit. Perfect for dessert. Thank you. I'll teach you the recipe as well. All right. And then the last one to show off the actual shop is Diego's Delights, and he sells all sorts of things. Let's get our fortune told first. Welcome, welcome. Would you like our fortune read? It's just 100G. Tell me my fortune. Abracadabra. What light, what fate lies in wait for you? Your lucky color is blue. You will discover something new about yourself. That I have no luck whatsoever. I'm wearing my blue hat. And that didn't, that didn't help, that didn't help me. All right, so this is Diego's Delights, and oh boy, do we have a lot to talk about. First of all, he sells a couple of tree seeds that uh, Sherry does not sell, and you definitely want to pick these up when you can. Uh, he also sells Wonderfuls, which, um, yeah, they're really fantastic. Uh, the blue wonderful we're gonna want to get installed in that uh, manufacturing windmill right away and he also sells suns which you install in the basement greenhouse and that changes the season in the basement greenhouse so the default sun in the basement greenhouse is the spring sun uh, so if you want to grow fall crops in the basement greenhouse you need the fall sun so he sells that he also sells you know like for example shiratama flower various you know just random goods that you can't get elsewhere. He also sells various gems, things like that. But he, he just sells a wide variety of things, but the suns and the wonderfuls and the tree seeds are the ones that you really need to pay attention to. Have something wrapped. Uh, Stuart would like yellow, I would assume, because he's always dressed in yellow. And then wrap the Mont Blanc. Uh, you can only get, I'm pretty sure you can only get one of each wonderful, um, and Diego just stops you from buying it if you try to buy it again. He doesn't remove it from his inventory, and I think he can still randomly choose it. You already have this. I can only sell you one of these. But why? And the same thing goes for the sons. You already have this. I can only sell you one one of these. One one. Okay. Uh, obviously, the same is not true for the tree seeds or the Shiratama flower or any of the other random bits and gems that he gets. You can buy as many of those as you want. All right, let's hope our luck is better for this one than the other one. Oh, sorry, this ticket isn't a winner. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm already having flashbacks. And again. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Second place prize, good cheese. So yeah, uh, when you upgrade the bazaar to 75% and then again to 100%, the lucky lotto, the prizes improve. And well, you know, good cheese is a much better second place prize than we could end another dud. Okay, no, that's fine. I didn't want to win anything anyway. And another dud. That's five. That's five. We, we played five and we, we won once. Oh my goodness. Oh, hello. Welcome to my food stall. Baked yam. Don't have that. Okay, we will buy it. That'll be 240. Thanks. I'll join the recipe for you, too. I think there is a ring. One of the charms that you, that, um, you can make if you have a purple wonderful installed in the manufacturing windmill. I think you can use a negate. I think uh, the agate is used for that ring, but that we're a long ways off from that, so we're not even going to worry about it. 
We're just gonna try and recoup some of our losses. Whoops. Keys, scrap metal, agates, agates, I don't know. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Hey, I want one of these scrap metal. Can I have one? Go on, take one. And the money? What? No way. Go on, take one. Yay, thank you. You're the best. Bye. Listen, I am perfectly fine with that. <laughs> I'm perfectly fine with that arrangement. And you know, we actually... We have enough that we can probably get that royal milk tea. Because really, we're not really buying the royal milk tea. We're buying the recipe, you know? You know what I'm saying? Please, come on. Somebody buy this scrap metal. They're all gathered around to see who will buy it, and it's the kid. The kid was the hero all along. And the old man. It was the kid and the old man. Batman and Robin. So far, you've earned 94,580. Uh, hopefully next week we'll do better. That'll be 22,400 for each royal milk tea. How many would you like? <laughs> Thank you. I'll teach you the recipe as well. I don't know, maybe Sherry would like this. Maybe that's how we can justify this purchase. No. No, there's no justification. Let's get some accessories started in the manufacturing windmill. Shall we? I think... Well, we didn't get any pink diamonds for a pink brooch. So I think that... The... Emeralds... Are the way to go. We're gonna do them separately, because they these take a while. Yeah, 144 hours for the green bracelets. Which uh, will actually be in time for the next bazaar. So that's nice. Alright. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe how bad our luck was for that. <laughs> now, I forget when... I think the blueberries... I think blueberries are a fall seed. Fall, right? Yeah, and see, this is what I'm talking about. Is that... Their space is taken up by this thing. This tree. I don't even, I don't even remember what this tree is. But... Yeah, so, oh, this is the olive tree. And it bears fruit in spring, so we're gonna have to move that over here. And I think we're just gonna have to settle on a single harvest of it. Well, hopefully that wasn't as long as I thought it was gonna be. And, uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. But I think I'm gonna have to call it there for now. And, uh, I will see you later. Bye.